staff web. Yeah, it might be star backslash oh, okay. backslash. Sorry, this is actually open. I think that's all the uh, It says registration is completely open. Natasha's okay. in college, but she can't get in. Yeah. Is that a capital W? It's a capital W. Why is it right? You're not watching. Six, one, double, double, eight, zero. Should I get a visitor's pass? Yeah. It's all lowercase, one word, pilot learner. Learning smarter. That's code at UK forward slash mobile. Just um, all one word, lowercase. Okay. Uh, the regular lesson is happening at the same time. So can you make sure you've got note paper out, pen out, because you will need that as well. Okay, at quarter past nine, yeah, so we have to stop doing that. Yeah. Yeah. It's still not working, sir. So. <coughs> and the pass will. Yeah, that's the lesson. Ow. The lesson. The same with both codes. W6. Okay, there isn't anything yeah. I can do about that. Facebook message or a tweet, you don't look at it. So put your phone away just for the time being or turn it over. Just so it's out of the way. Bradley, phone out of the way. Yeah. Scarf off the table, please. We're going to come back to that in ten minutes, okay? What we want to do first of all, guys, is just recap what we did last week and what you did with Craig last week. Charles, okay. for this activity, can I ask you to just come sit here? Yeah. Because I need you in twos. Um, you can go back Working with a minute. partner, please, I want you uh, just to refresh what you did last week. I want you to spend two and a half minutes, A and B. A, sharing your experience of learning about Shakespeare from last week, Sade. Yeah, so the things that you learned last week, A tells B. Okay, and then you swap over and B tells A. But when B tells A, you can't repeat anything that A says. Okay? You've got two and a half minutes, okay? So the first time, label yourselves A and B now. Use your notes. You've got two and a half minutes starting now. Go. Okay, um, it's called the Elizabethan period, not A, the tell B as much period. as you possibly can. Um, Theatre was banned in 1642, I believe. Um, Shakespeare's got four categories, four categories when in his work. He's got the historical, the comical, um, the tra tragedy, and um, the problem category, and the romance. Oh, wait, I'm not sure if that's four or five. But yeah, I've got those. And then, um, ooh, 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 I know more. Oh, let me think. Damn, I have no idea. Wait, 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 wait. I know more, I know more, I know in my head, I just have to calm down and say it. Okay, um, yes, the theatre was closed down by the, um, the purists because they believed the theatre was sinful and ungodly. Um, what else did I learn? Um, Come and grab a seat at this table with Nabiko. Yeah, uh, You're halfway, you've got one minute 15 left. You can look at those, you can't look at them. You can look at that, you can't look at them. And you can look at the other ones in the room as well. About 20 seconds left, let's have a little last minute brain surge. Anything else you can remember? Got a challenge on here now, Joe. No, they had a recession. <laughs> Who was on the throne at the time? Um, Elizabeth II. No, Elizabeth II's on the throne now. <laughs> I mean, Elizabeth. Okay, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, okay, so it was called the. And stop! Theater, look at your notes, not the ones on the wall, look at your personal notes. Is there anything that is there anything on your notes that you missed? Yeah. Yeah. If there's anything in your notes that you missed, could you put a little asterisk next to it or underline it? Little star. Star. Asterisk. Asterisk. A little star. Just indicate in your notes which bit you forgot. 
Then in your notes, you've got a reminder of which bit you need to have another look at because you forgot to share that information. Uh, we're going to swap over. Now, if there's anybody here who wasn't here last week, you're going to have to absorb this information. So if you weren't here last week, it's just you write down something that somebody else said. Can you swap partnerships this time? So can you share with somebody new on your table? We're going to have another... We're going to have another two and a half minutes. Bradley, one sec. If you're with the same partner, you are not allowed to repeat any of the facts that your partner said. Because otherwise you're just spouting what's just been told you. You need to try and remember what you've seen in your notes or what you remember from last week. So again, no more looking at your notes now. Turn your notes over. Close your notebook. If you need to run across the room to look at one of these just to give yourself a, a refresher in the middle of the activity, that's fine. Okay? You have two and a half minutes, starting from now. Can I see the pink retreat? Um, he, died, he died on his birthday. Yeah. His, um, his, you know, on, he mostly wrote um, plays that were of different genres. They were, and they were, and they were mostly usually comedy, tragedy, romance, and historical. And for example, the comedy was A Midsummer Night Dream. Uh, the tragedy was Romeo and Juliet. The historical would have been Hamlet. I don't think I'm missing any of it. Any others at all? Problem place. Problem. Ah, yes, and there was problem place, which, which within in the ending they didn't exactly. Yeah, we're not going to live on the stage. So the men used to play the women in the place. Um, comedies. Shakespeare. One minute gone. A minute and a half left. Tragedies. Shakespeare was So it was around the time where the church, where the theatres were known as like simple places, so places against God because people were doing bad things. But, um, but it was basically yeah. um, um, yes, 37%. What else? You ask me questions and I'll just answer. Um. <laughs> He introduced, introduced <laughs> 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 your notes from last week. Same thing. If there's something that you think, I missed that, forgot that, put a little asterisk next to it or mark it in some way so that you know you missed that little bit of information or underline it however you want to mark it. It's entirely up to you. It's entirely up to you. Mark, can you come and sit at this table here? Actually, go and sit with the guys there, please. You take your coat off, no. please. Thank you. I'm sure of today's, today's class. The aims of today's lesson are we're going to check our learning from last week. So we've started to do that already. Checking our learning from last week for accuracy. We've started to do that already. We're going to reinforce this process of jigsaw learning. Putting it in bit by bit. Like a puzzle? Okay, yeah, like a puzzle, putting it in bit by bit to make what? To make a bigger picture. Absolutely. Okay, fine. Everybody brings that to aid our learning. Um, the objectives for today's lesson are that you must, this is what you must do in today's session, okay? You must identify what I'm calling key descriptors of Elizabethan or Jacobean theatre. And we're going to have a quick... Why do we not call it the Shakespearean period? Because it wasn't his time, he didn't rule. So, it was, so it was Elizabeth's time. Okay. And he just became famous because he was good at writing plays. In that time. Okay, yeah, great, fantastic. Yes, yeah, so it's the Elizabethan <laughs> period. Or later, it's the Jacobean period. Shakespeare was just busy in that time. It's not the Shakespearean period. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, an effective learning from this idea of jigsaw, this jigsaw experience. Okay? So it's through this process of our jigsaw learning that we will learn a lot more information. I think we learned quite a lot last week, uh, which we're just about to test you on now. Right, on your table, you've got um, this information. Could you please take one each and make sure your name is written clearly on the top? Your own learning. 
The information that you get is invaluable for your assignment and for your kind of ongoing learning in this subject. So make sure you're writing it down. The quiz is a multiple choice quiz. When we go through the answers, any answers that were correct, make sure you indicate which ones are correct. And any answers that you didn't get right, make sure you indicate what the right answer is. So you start to build up a process of learning. Something about phones, I just want to say. This is a phone. Uh, could you please make sure you are not using your phones for anything other than an activity that we direct you to use? I know people have got their phones out because we've asked you to do that. Uh, but if anything comes into your phone, like a Facebook update or a tweet or a text message or anything like that, could you resist the urge to look at it and respond, please? Okay? Yeah, so, yeah, so if, I, if you turn them over, get like an exam paper, turn your phones over. And if it buzzes, we're going to uh, operate the powers of restraint. Okay? Mm -hmm. And there's less than. Mm -hmm. Do you want to flick on? Yeah, really. Nearly. Yeah. Uh, okay. Not all of the knowledge tested in this quiz was shared last week. There are a couple of trick questions that are testing your learning in this session. So some of the questions are designed in such a way <coughs> that they will answer some of the other questions for you. So if some of the questions you think, well, we didn't do that last week, I know that. I know that. Some of them, we did do it last week. Please do not use any of your notes at all from last week. Okay? Let's see how you do. It's multiple choice. Also, no conferring. No sharing with other people. So if you weren't here last week, you may have picked some of this up in Darren's lesson, or some of it you may know already, in which case, use this process to kind of catch up. Okay? The quiz begins. Okay, Shakespeare's comedy plays. Question one. Shakespeare's comedy plays are identified by A, their jester characters, B, happy endings, or C, both. Right, circle your answer on your sheet. Don't tell me. Circle your answer on your sheet. Question one. Shakespeare's comedy plays are identified by A, his jester characters, B, happy endings, or C, both. Next question. Shakespeare's comedy plays often are only amusing in part. It's question A. B, contain cross-dressing, gender, master, servant, swapping around. C, are shorter than the tragedy plays. Or D, all of the above. So question two. You have four choices. A, B, C, D is all of the above. Which is the correct answer? Okay, moving on. Next question. We've got some cheats here. Okay, no cheating, no talking. Okay, there's only ten questions. We can hold it in for ten questions. Okay, the problem plays. And you will notice here on this slide... There's a whole list here of Shakespearean insults. Char Charles is the only person who has actually insulted me in a Shakespearean way. Um, I believe you were set that challenge. I insulted you the first day it was set. And I, I didn't scared. even notice. Said, okay. So when you turn around and do that, what did you say? I was like, nothing. Well done. <laughs> okay, the question is, the problem plays are so called because A, they deal with problems. B, they are more difficult to understand than all these other plays. Or C, they do not fit into any of the other three categories. Which is the correct answer? A, B, or C? The problem plays are called problem plays because A, B, or C. Okay, next question. If Shakespeare could not find an appropriate word in the English language, he A, used another one, B, referred to the Bible, or C, Shakespeare's history plays are all historically accurate, true or false. Shakespeare's history plays are all historically accurate. Is that answer true or false? Next question. Yes, that's okay. You've used it in this paper. You've got some already. No. Three there. I get two. Yay. Two, three there. Who's not Sarah sure the quiz? Very high marks for this. Okay, Darren, thanks. Is there, a spare, is there a spare quiz paper not being marked somewhere? No, can I give one over here? Okay, I'm also going to ask you, I'm going to ask individual people in the room for the answer as we go. Okay? So check, 
check your answers. No. You get one point for each correct answer. Okay? One point for each correct answer. Okay. Uh, Nathan, you're going to answer this for the class. Shakespeare's comedy plays are identified by their jester characters, their happy endings, or both. What is the correct answer? Both. both. They're identified by their happy, happy endings. Ending. That's what I said, but you didn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> so if you put happy endings, that is the correct answer. I said both stands for B. Okay. <laughs> happy endings. All right, you'll get your not happy all the ending. comedies have a jester character in I got them. That from you. Some of them do, but not all of them. Okay, next question. Sarah, you're going to answer this question. Shakespeare's comedy plays are often only amusing in part, contain cross dressing, gender swapping, master servant swapping, are shorter than the tragedies, or D, all of the above. Sarah, what do you think is the all correct answer? The, the correct answer is D, all of the above. Well done. Hey, remember, the, look at the question. It says the, the plays often, it doesn't say always, it says the plays often deal She's with guy, one or guys. another of these things. And if it's not got gender swapping, cross-dressing characters, it's got master servant swapping characters in there. There's usually some kind of swapping going on. Okay, next question. Um, Jody. Mm -hmm. The problem plays are called problem plays because they deal with problems, or they are more difficult to understand, or we just don't know where to put them because they don't fit into any of the other categories. I can't remember what I said, so if anyone's got my paper, could you answer that? What do you think, what do you think now, Jody? What do you think right now? What is your live, on the bottom yeah, answer? Yes, well, Charlie's got two right already, so I'm going to say, yeah, C. It is C. Yeah. The answer is C. The, yeah, so I'll change that to my paper. <laughs> They're called problem plays because they don't fit doing. into the other categories. <laughs> okay. Um, Ali. Yeah. If Shakespeare could not find an appropriate word in the English language, he used made a different one, one referred to the Bible, or made one up. Made one up. He made one up. Made one up. Okay, next question. Was that? Whoa, whoa, that was too quick. Amigo. <laughs> in Shakespeare's tragedy plays, in Shakespeare's tragedy plays, significant characters die is answer A. All significant characters die is answer, is answer B. Well, answer C is the central character. The protagonist C. dies. C. The answer is A. a. Significant a. character dies. Not all significant characters die, because then there'd be nobody left. Although Romeo and Juliet's a bit like that. Lots of them die in Romeo and Juliet, but not all of them. So, also, if they don't get it right, you don't get it right either. Okay? Aaron, what do you think is the answer? Basically, well, it is B. It's definitely B. But basically, the reason why it is is because um, John Fletcher was basically, he was famous at the time as well. He was a famous writer. He was, um, well, not, I would say Clash of Shakespeare. Shakespeare was always higher. But he was that following. He was that, he was there. He was there. And, um, What's the question? The question, yeah. Read, read, read the question. Like, the following writers, or people writers, but also actually. Oh, yeah. Right. So actually, Aaron, you've, you've just talked yourself into answering this here. Okay, there you go. Is that the Good. Well done. So we've got nine out of ten. Okay, right, so <laughs> grab a seat guys. <laughs> Sarah's got a seat. You lot was cheating. Okay, raise your hand high and proud if you have a score of 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Okay, 9 out of 10. Simple, that's not nearly fair. Okay, good, right, 9 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Great, well done, fantastic. 7 out of 10. Wonderful, marvellous. 6 out of 10. Raise your hand if we have five or below. Five. Five or below. <laughs> right. So, guys, on that note, on that note, one second, after today's lesson, I didn't do it before for obvious reasons, after today's lesson, this, including the answers, will go on Moodle. If you didn't get 10 out of 10, can you make sure you go back to this, 
look at what the correct answers are and begin to build up that knowledge. It's about having that background context to what you're doing. And what is the name of this lesson? Historical context. Okay, thank you, oh, so Tasha. Well done. Specific. Okay, very good. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, right, the next stage of the lesson is over to you. You are going to tell us a little bit of information about some of Shakespeare's plays that you have done for your homework. The first thing you need to do is just quickly, um, once I finish speaking, is get onto a table, well, don't get onto the table, you know what I mean, get around the table, uh, with a person that you are working with. With a person that you're working with. If not, and you're on your own, that's fine, just stay where you are. Um, you're going to have five minutes just to run through your key information, which you're then going to share with the rest of us, okay? So just after 5-2, just after 5-2, we'll stop, okay? Why does it create the storm? Um, where am I going? That's page one. That's page two. I've got a record job, guys. You've got a what? I've got a record job. Really? I've got a job. What job is this? My next one. Then the end of the name of this term. Maybe it's not to put an added one to the pond. I love it first sight. Okay, good. So the first thing that you said about he was entrapped on the island by his brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, ye
there's loads of parts in it, so we're not exactly sure. We have to pick one. But the main theme is that like um, these two guys are gonna have a duel to fight yeah, because and then they get one accused the other so one, and they get banished. That's I don't know how we're gonna play. I think we should play loads of characters and like swap it around and be like the same people, but not. It's gonna be confusing. I know it's gonna be confusing, but two people to a play that has more than two people, we have to do it somehow. Because even in the first scene, there's like three people there. Yeah, there's never like there's Which a scene. Like, um, Richard Which second. second. There's a okay. one what? scene of like two people. Okay, right? what's the scene? Right? That we, what she's not is ten in the place. Yeah, she's older. So that's that's a scene. I'm not saying you must do that scene. Yeah. But that's a possibility. Oh, because it's, it's only a scene two worth people. looking at. It's only two people. It's a man and a woman. It's something that you could look at. Okay. There are other opportunities as well. I'm write that down. You can, because remember, when you do the scene, it's Did all about you your interpretation. You can mess around with it. So you yeah. can do lots of other crazy stuff. Names. But there is a scene with two people in it. Yeah. Basically, oh, yeah. Okay. you know the play that I'm doing. Yeah. There's a Jamaican play about it. Guys, just have your attention. Just the same name. Before, Everything. Just before we wind up, just have your attention. Uh, Literally, like a minute and a half. What are the main sections of this plot that you're going to share with us? Remember, this is a bit of jigsaw learning, jigsaw together. So you will leave here with a lot more, albeit um, quite quite simple and quite limited at this stage. You will all leave here with a bit more knowledge about these plots of these stories um, than when you than when you came in. Okay. So just make sure you've got a list of main points that that's what you're going to share with us. Information that people are going to have a chance to get down and remember. Okay? Just another minute and a half, and then we'll get you on. So I like reading more. <laughs> I don't understand. Could you imagine a Jamaican person reading Shakespeare? So is, it, is it said in Shakespeare as well? Like, thus thou. I don't even remember. Thus thou and all the rest. Don't want to waste paper. That's very good. That's very admirable. Draw a line. Underneath, I would like you to structure your notes, Bradley. I'd like you to structure your notes in a particular way. We're going to start with the Tempest. So everybody needs to write the Tempest. That is your title. Oh. Okay. And you're going to get some key pieces of plot information about the Tempest from another student in the group, and you're going to record that information down. Now, it's for you this time. I've directed you at various points in the lesson as to write this down. Make sure you're recording this. That's not going to happen in this section of the lesson. You're going to listen to what the other students who are giving you the information have to say, and you are going to decide what you need to record, what you not need to record. If there's something you already know, actually, know that, you don't need to necessarily write that down. It's information that you're not familiar with, information that you didn't know. Write it down. I would like you to respectfully manage how you conduct yourself as a student in this section. You will get an opportunity, once that student has finished giving you information, to ask a couple of questions. Please don't fire stuff off just in the middle of it. Or ask them, say that again, say that again. Just manage yourself, make those notes. If, when they finish presenting, there's something you've missed, we'll have a couple of questions and you can ask for... Um, for them to consolidate that the end. Okay? So the Tempest is these guys over here. So these guys are going to give you some information. Everybody else, you're going to record the information that they give you. Okay? All right. Tempest people, off you go. The main plot of the Tempest is set on a remote island where Prospero, the rightful Duke of Milan, plots to restore his daughter Miranda to her rightful place. Okay, can we... Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, so, yeah, Ali? 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 No, you can look. Yeah, okay. Ali? Yeah, Ali? Yeah, Ali? Ali? Yeah, Ali? Yeah, Ali? Ali? Yeah, 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 Ali?
and he conjured up the storm so he can bring all those people to the island. Mm -hmm. um, um, yeah, can you take it from there? No, I think, that, I think that's mostly That's what I could yeah. like. Okay. Okay, okay, right, good. Uh, Sarah, question? Can I add something? Because only because I, I love the Tempest so much. Okay, I'm going to let you add something in a minute. Any questions? Anything you need repeating? Anything, Natasha? So, the brother... Yeah, Antonio. Yeah. Thank you. That's, that's, that's what I needed. Okay. Oh, okay. Brother Antonio. Was there a second part to that question? Or did you just want his name? No, I just needed his name. <laughs> Anybody else got another question? Okay, Nabika. What's the story behind his daughter? What's, what's yeah. that? Something about his daughter? Oh, basically, something happens where, like, she just marries... She marries the king of Naples, who he also brings over to the, the little island. So what's this island about? Basically, it's, like, his brother sent him there. I don't know why he sent him there. I can't remember. His brother sent him there, and um, while he was there, obviously, he's thinking, my brother sent me here, I need to get payback. So he conjures up a little storm, which brings everyone to the island, and his brother has to come as well. And then, I can't remember the brother. Okay, it, actually, in a nutshell, that's not a bad way to describe it. He gets sent to the island by his brother and he wants payback. So he waits years and then gets payback by bringing all of them to the island. knew at the start of the lesson, okay, things that we remembered from last week. Now at the end of the lesson, how much do you think you know about the subject? What have you learned in this lesson that you didn't know previously? If you can just put your hands up for me. Do you mean the subject of our play? Or yeah, the subject of English theatre up to 1642. What have you learned today that you didn't know before this lesson started? Hands up. First of all, Natasha, off you go. Um, I learned about the plot of the, the, that different plays that I didn't know because I've never read them or heard about them. Okay, so, so which plays are you now, you now know something about? Can you remember any of them? Yeah. Um, Give me two. Tra tra tragedy? Yeah, well, name your tragedy we've talked about today. A tragedy that we talk about today. Yeah, one that you didn't know about before. Um, the name of the play, Natasha. Yeah. What's the name of the Vico's play? The name Macbeth. Okay. And it's the shortest tragedy that Shakespeare's ever written. Okay, it's the shortest Ooh. tragedy Shakespeare wrote. Uh, Shade, what have you learned today that you didn't know before you came into the lesson? <laughs> or something that you understand a little bit better? understand that the protagonist is the main character. <laughs> right? The protagonist is the main character. Good. Okay, so who's the protagonist in the play that you are doing? Prospero. Prospero. Yeah. Good. Okay. Sarah, what have you learned today? I learned about, a bit about King Lear, a bit about um, Bowman and Fletcher's, um, what was that play that you did? Maid's uh, the Maid's Tragedy. Yeah. And I've learned about, uh, a bit more about Macbeth that I didn't know before. Um, that's it. What have you learned about um, uh, Elizabethan theatre um, conventions or, you know, the quiz that we did at the start? Is there anything um, that you picked up in that? Protagonist. Protagonist like Sharda, yeah? Anything else? Um, that, that all of the, that, that um, John Fletcher, the John Webster, Bowman and Fletcher, um, Mc Thomas Middleton and a couple others were still right at the same time as Shakespeare. Please tell me I'm an excellent blend of those. Good. And Ali, name me a play, please, that Bowman and Fletcher wrote. I uh, couldn't do that. Nabiko. A Maid's Tragedy. The Maid's Tragedy. Oh, you Good. said that. Well, like, okay. you know, that right, that. so, um, just moving on to another quick question. Uh, if I asked you to give a thumbs up or a thumbs down, we can do this visually if you like, yeah? Um, if you're feeling confident about your Shakespeare project, about being able to contextualise the play for a contemporary audience, and about being Hang able on, to select a scene, <laughs> being able to select a scene from your play, and being able to perform it to an audience, can I just ask? Just, yep. just before you answer that question with a thumbs up or a thumbs down, it is okay 
for it to be thumbs down at this stage. Yeah. This is week two of this process. So if actually you're not, that's okay. We want a real... Uh, one second, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight people feeling confident, Craig. If you're feeling unconfident, put your hands down. Your thumbs down. Oh, oh, yeah, so one. Oh, oh, we're halfway here. Yeah, so maybe we can have that as well, yeah. Okay, down one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, Jodie, why are you not feeling confident? I hate Shakespeare, that's why. Oh, Jodie! Because oh. I'm not comfortable, it's because I'm not comfortable with this play, because I don't know it. Okay, so do you think once you know the play, you yes. become a bit more comfortable with the play, yeah. you'll become a bit more comfortable with the yeah. topic, yeah, okay. And Sybil? I don't like my play at all. I've read it before, or I've seen a bit of it. And which play are you doing? King Harry the Second, and I would just. It, Hang I, on one second. I'm Richard, Richard, play, Richard, right? Richard, 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 Richard. Maybe that's why yeah. you don't like it. Maybe no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't like it. Sometimes you need to fall in love with it. I'll bit. try, yeah. but I don't. Okay. It's just. Good. That's a challenge for you, then, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Natasha. I'm actually quite um, satisfied with my play. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't really like Shakespeare, I'm not a fan of Shakespeare because I don't really understand the language. But I think because I, I understand what this play is about and like, I, I can relate, not relate to it, but like, I understand the synopsis, so I know what it's about. So I think that I could, we could be, yeah, work with it, yeah. yeah. I can okay, work good. with it, yeah. Okay, um, and finally, how did you rate this lesson? Okay, so you enjoyed the lesson. Okay, you can put your hands high in the air like this with thumbs up. If you didn't put them down like this, and if it was all right, you can put them like this. So if you enjoyed it, hands up really high, thumbs up. If you enjoyed the lesson, thumbs up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's not bad, Craig, is it? If you really hated it, put your thumbs down. And if you're indifferent, put your thumbs like this. I really okay, I think it. I'm happy with that. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we've got two people we need to win over. <laughs> uh, listen, I will have a quick word with Rhiannon and just tell that you're going to be ten minutes late to your next class so you can have a bit of a break, oh, okay? Um, okay? And don't forget that I will see you this afternoon at quarter past one in blacks, ready to start practical class, please. Thank you for your contribution. I'm sure Deborah's got some forms for you to fill in, possibly. Oh, no, we just go into a book. Does it just go into a drawer? Yeah. Um, your, the iPad competition, your name, if you were here, just goes into a drawer. Thank you very much. Make sure you take all your stuff with you. I was here twice. Every week. Are we ever going to read this? 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 Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay, cool, thank Can you. Can I get like a receipt that you've actually put my name in? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're like, oh, you haven't won it. You're like, Daryl will come over. What do I need to know? What do I need to know? The workshop. Oh, right, okay. You need to be cooperative. And if 